always choose the APs before you start designing. The reason you need to do it before is there's such a huge difference in access points. There is no generic access point you can design for and then install and have it match. It just doesn't work that way. So one, I wish there was never a generic AP allowed because you can't buy one, so why would you design for it? Now in the example here on the slide, in the upper left, you see a 10 dB is the transmit power that's leaving the rate that's going into the radio. The radio then sends it through its antenna and what we get out is EIRP. In this case, this AP had a negative gain on its antenna. Totally possible, a lot of phones and handsets do, but this is an access point. By the way, all six of these access points, they're all sold into the exact same market. And if you pick one and it's the wrong one, you might have more APs or less APs. The one on the bottom right, we put 10 dB in and we get 18, almost 19 out. It has a positive 9 dB. And then you go, well, how can they do that? Well, if you look at the antenna, you can see the, the instead of wasting energy going up and down, it's only focusing in a certain direction and you get a better gain. Yes, this means you need fewer APs. This is just one example. I can show you tons of examples when you go on site, put it up in a football field, walk it, and you can see there is a huge difference between the APs. The previous one I showed you isn't always about RSSI. There's other things that APs have, spatial streams, better MCS, better firmware, that allow you to change. Design for your clients you have, but also choose your AP before you do any other design.